Hey everybody, today I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison video with three different half-inch compact 18 or 20 volt drills. I have the DeWalt DCD780, the Makita XFD10, and the Hercules HC91K1 from Harbor Freight. Now what I'd like you to do right now before you even watch this video is pause it and leave a comment below with which one of these you think is going to be the winner. Then after the video, go back and leave a reply to your comment and tell me if you're right or not. Now all of these have half inch keyless ratcheting chucks, they all have compact battery packs and brush motors, and as far as specs go, other than the battery size, they're going to be extremely similar. Here's a closer look at all three drills side by side, and the dimensions are slightly different, with the DeWalt coming in at 7 and 3 quarter inches long, just under 9 inches high, and just over 2 and 3 quarter inches wide. The Makita is 7 and a quarter inches long, 9 inches high, and just under 2 and a half inches wide, and the Hercules is 7 and 3 8 inches long, just under 9 inches high, and just under 2 and a half inches wide. With batteries installed, the DeWalt weighs 3 pounds 7.5 ounces. The lightest of the three is the Makita at 3 pounds 6.5 ounces, and the heaviest of the three is the Hercules, coming in at 3 pounds 10.5 ounces. The price and warranty will differ fairly significantly, and I bought them all brand new at the Home Depot and Harbor Freight. And off the shelf, the most expensive one is the Makita. It's $169, it comes with two 2 amp hour battery packs, and it also is covered with a 3 year warranty against manufacturer defects. The DeWalt is $10 less, coming in at $159, it's also covered with a 3 year warranty and has two 1 1.5 amp hour battery packs. And the Hercules is the cheapest out of the three, coming in at $99 with a coupon. It includes one 2 1.5 amp hour battery pack and a 90 day warranty off the shelf. Now you can upgrade that to a one or a two year replacement plan, but you'd have to do that at the time of purchase and it would add to your overall total. The construction of each has a standard colored hard plastic design with a rubber overmold grip and rubber bumpers built in to prevent damage to your work surface as well as the drill if you happen to drop it. Now each of the batteries are on a slide rail system, meaning you simply press the button on the front it's going to release the battery and then to reinstall it with a freshly charged pack, just slide it in place and when you hear the click, it's ready to go. The chucks on each are all a half inch keyless ratcheting version, however the Hercules has an upgraded metal sleeve design, which is a Jacobs chuck. The DeWalt also has a Jacobs chuck, but it's a plastic sleeve design, and the Makita has a Makita version plastic sleeve design. To switch between the different speed or power modes on each drill, it's going to be completely identical. If you notice on the top of the unit, there's a switch that shows a 1 or a 2. If you press it forward, it's going to be in first gear, which is a low RPM but high torque mode. And then if you pull that back, it's going to be in a high speed but low torque mode. And depending on your application, one of those is probably going to work a lot better than the other one. For a performance test, we're going to see how each drill does using a large ship auger bit going into this pressure treated pine 4x4 post. Now if let's say you're installing a fence or a gate, this is a very typical application that you would run into with a drill this size. And rather than be in speed or power mode 1, which would give us the maximum torque but would be a very low RPM mode, I'm going to bump all the drills up to speed or power mode 2. That's going to be a lower torque setting but a higher speed mode. And we'll see how they do drilling through this side by side. All three drills have an LED light in between the chuck and the variable speed trigger, and when you release the trigger, the light's going to remain on the DeWalt for a full 20 seconds. The Makita is going to stay on for roughly 12 to 13 seconds, and the Hercules will remain on for 10 seconds. To change directions as you're using the drill, there's a switch just behind that trigger. It's going to move left to right. If you push it to the left, it's going to put the drill in forward, and if you push it to the right, it's going to be in reverse. Now the center position on all three of these drills is known as a trigger lock, meaning if you're traveling or you don't want to accidentally activate the tool, you'll put it in the middle position and then when you pull on the trigger, nothing's going to happen. 
Now, depending on your application, you might want to limit the amount of torque being applied so you don't overdrive or strip out a screw. And behind the chuck is actually a clutch ring that you can rotate left to right to dial in that torque exactly. With lower numbers meaning lower torque, and higher numbers meaning higher torque, when a specific amount is reached, the drill will no longer turn the chuck. There's also a drill only setting. If we notice a drill bit symbol on each unit, that overrides the clutch ring, applying full power from the motor into the chuck and into your bit. To test the performance of each drill using an extremely large bit, I have a two and nine sixteenths self-feeding wood bit. We're gonna drill into a pine two by six with each drill to see the type of job that they would do for you. Surprisingly, the Makita was not able to make it all the way through the 2x6. It only made it a little over halfway through, and it stalled out twice. All the batteries were fully charged. You can see if I press the button on the back, it does have four bars lit up. Also, when we look at the Hercules, you press the button on the back of it, four bars are going to be lit up. And then the DeWalt does not have a fuel gauge, but it was still able to make it all the way through. So as far as this test goes, using an extremely large bit, the Hercules and the DeWalt were able to make it all the way through. The Makita had overload protection kick on and it was not able to make it all the way through. Now for a runtime test, I'll be using a one inch auger bit going into pine two by sixes and we'll see how many holes that these can drill before the batteries die. All of the batteries are fully charged, but remember that they're different amp hour ratings. The lowest is gonna be the DeWalt with a one and a half amp hour battery. The Makita has a two amp hour, and the Hercules has a two and a half amp hour. So what we're looking for, two different things with this runtime test, we're looking for the number of overall holes that each drill can do before the battery packs die. And we're also looking at how many holes it can do per amp hour as far as the rating goes on the battery packs. At the end of this, we'll look at both of those. That's gonna show us an amount that it could get before the battery dies, as well as how efficient it is overall. And with all the drills, we're gonna be in speed or power mode one, which is a low speed but high torque mode.
Okay, we just got done with all the runtime testing. You can see the results right in front of you. Now this top board is the DeWalt. It had the smallest battery packs coming in at one and a half amp hours. It made it through a full 39 holes before that battery pack died. And if we take the 39, divide it by 1.5, it's coming out at 26 holes per amp hour of the battery rating. Next would be the Makita. It made it through 69 holes using a two amp hour pack. And that comes out to 34 and a half holes per amp hour. And finally, the winner would be the Hercules, not only in overall runtime, but also efficiency. It made it through a full 99 holes using a two and a half amp hour pack. And that comes out to 39.6 holes per amp hour of the battery. Now, what I'd like to know is what do you think of these drills and which one would you purchase? And more importantly, if you already own one or perhaps you've used one of them, have you had any problems or are they something that you could definitely recommend? Leave a comment below this video and let me and everyone else know about it so as they're researching these drills, your comment might really help them out. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.